Hello everybody and welcome to our on-screen tutorial for this week. This week, I thought that we could maybe chat about the Google Merchant Center. So you could actually access this from Google directly. You can go and create an account or on the assumption that you already have a Google Ads account, you can access it from within your dashboard. So we are going to navigate to tools and settings. And then here underneath within the setup menu, we have Google Merchant Center. So I'm going to open that up. And here we are. So we would use Google Merchant Center for the setting up of your products that you want to have pulled through into your Google Ads account so that you can then create your Google Shopping Ads. For this particular customer, they only have four safety devices that they sell, either to corporates or directly to individuals. So it was a nice, easy, quick setup. But generally for an e-commerce business, you're likely to have you know, anywhere between, let's say, four products to up to thousands of products. So if you do have a large product offering, you may want to think about um, contracting the support of a developer. You can actually create a dynamic product feed connected from your e-commerce platform and loaded up and hooked up into your Google Merchant Center because it would be um, it would take a long time if you were to actually upload all of the products manually, which is an option. But I do feel that if you have a large collection of products, that you have a web developer assist you with connecting a product feed. So here we are within the dashboard. Obviously, you need to set it up correctly from the beginning. And this is an overview, which gives you an idea of shopping ads, free listings, performance shopping ads, and also dynamic retargeting. Up at the top, we have tools and settings. That's where you would update information about shipping and, return and returns, regions, sales tax, business information, shopping ads setup customer review setup, and free listings. So when you go into your Google Merchant Center account for the first time, it will actually prompt you to complete all of this information up front. And obviously, as information changes or becomes more relevant than other parts of the information already included, you can go back into this tools menu and change accordingly. This is where your web developer would focus on the API, the product feed, et cetera. And then you would also maybe have some information within linked accounts, account access. You would have to add your web developer in there and just some basic setup information. You can open up all of these menu items and just follow the prompts from start to end quite interesting they have this shopping ads set up just open it up and you can update all of that there about review policies product and business information shopping ad status it also interested me as well that they have this incredible option here for the customer reviews setup now when you are looking at shopping ads on google some of them have star ratings and others do not. So this is where you could also ask your developer to assist you by adding scripting to the checkout pages. You can then capture the customer's reviews of the products, which once completed will pull through and display with your Google Shopping ads. And remember the customer's want to hear what other customers are saying about your products, not necessarily what you are saying about your product. So if they see customer reviews on display with your product ads, then your ads are likely to get a click first 
and potentially a purchase over and above everybody else's. So it would be a good idea to set up the customer reviews section, which includes some scripting that needs to be added to the checkout pages of your website. And if you cannot do it, please contract a web developer to assist you. Here, let's go to the most important section, which is for products. And this is where you would connect your product feed, or you can actually add them manually. So with this particular customer, they only had four products. We still have um, two accessories to add, but essentially what was wonderful is that we only had four to add to this. So I was able to do it manually without having to ask a web developer to assist. You can see that we have a shopping ad running and also it is connected to dynamic remarketing. So if anybody is on the website looking to purchase this particular device and they leave the cart, they abandon the cart with this device in their cart, dynamic remarketing will also kick in and go and follow them around the internet and all of their favorite social media platforms to try to hook them back to complete their purchase. So here you can see that a very tidy image has been included. You don't want to have any writing or logos or anything. It is to be the product on the white background, nothing else. There is the title, very neat, very tidy, consistent, continuous, it's all exactly the same. This is a system generated item ID, or you can include your own SKU, which is basically a tag for the product. It's a unique code that it would get. We have a price, the number of clicks. So we can actually see how many, how many people have clicked on these products since we've added them. I think it was only a couple of weeks ago that we uploaded this. We have the country of sale. We are focusing predominantly on SA and the source is the merchant center and there's the program. And this is just a little example of how it would look if you were to add a new product. So we're just going into that dashboard view now. So here it is very straightforward, simple to complete. You just need to look through every single field see if it's applicable and if you're unsure you'll see that there's a little question mark pop out that will give you specific information on what you need to complete or if it is optional etc here you would upload the image or you would browse to the website to go and extract it from there pricing detailed information shipping etc etc very very straightforward simple to do you just need to make some time to go in and familiarize yourself with the dashboard. And then we go down to feeds. That is where your feed would be connected. There is the feed, or you would ask your web developer to upload a feed within here. So it's a fairly straightforward dashboard. It doesn't seem too difficult to use. It just requires a little bit of time to go in there and familiarize yourself. Here we actually have the budget per day and we have some analytics coming through as well, some best sellers. It will all be in there when the information updates. I quite like this area at the end where it shows you about product listings, shopping ads, dynamic remarketing, promotions, free local product listing, customer reviews. And these are all the different programs that you can hook your shopping feed up into. So it's quite nice to go and see all the extra areas where you can get your products to display as well. So that's it for our walkthrough tutorial for this week. I hope you have found it helpful. And I hope that you will make time as an e-commerce merchant to go and create your Google Merchant Center account, link it to your Google Ads account, and start importing your products either manually or by a product feed 
into Google Merchant Center so that you can get started with a Google Shopping ad. Thank you for joining us this week. Take care and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.